Hey guys, it is Mitch, and we are back, featuring the monthly list of best PC games to play in August 2021. These are our top 10 games coming out this month, with some of the greatest games of 2021. Without more delays, let's start with our first game. Coming in first, Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. First announced in 2020, Kenna is the inaugural title from indie game developer Ember Labs. This charming third-person action platformer contains the same quality craftsmanship as high-profile franchises such as Zelda, thus showing lots of potential to become a sleeper hit. Your goal is to reach Taro, the elder who fell to a mysterious plague that afflicts the land. Assisting you in your journey are small creatures called the Rot. The name is misleading though. When you think of a Rot, you probably imagine something foul. However, this game's Rot is a collection of fuzzy critters that help in many ways. They can locate collectibles and other hidden items necessary for solving certain puzzles, destroying enemies, and even heal Kenna. Kenna needs yellow orbs of courage dropped from enemies to control the rot. When the courage meter fills, Kenna can send her minions to pester foes or attack them. Using her magical cane, Kenna whacks foes with light and heavy attacks, dodge incoming attacks, or make shield bubbles. It offers a fresh take on the classic action-adventure genre. The path of a spirit guide is the only one. In next, New World. Yes, the New World is finally releasing this month. It's a massive multiplayer online role-playing game by Amazon Game Studios. Set in the mid-1600s, players colonize a fictional land modeled after colonial America in the Atlantic Ocean called Eternum, where you explore a big open world MMO filled with danger and opportunity. The game uses a classless system, real-time combat system, and with teams or solo, or in massed armies for PvE. Even has PvP battles. The players may form groups of up to five members, join one of the factions, utilize node resources, craft items, gain control over settlements, do quests, or just explore the sandbox. You can use melee weapons, ranged artillery, or magical powers. With each level, the hostile mobs are programmed with ever-increasing complexity and strength sequences of attacking behavior skill sets. The game will be using a buy-to-play business model, meaning there will be no monthly mandatory subscription fee. Next, Humankind. It's a historical strategy game where you will rewrite the entire narrative of Humankind, one of the most anticipated strategy games of this year. A game of human cultures, history, and values that allows you to create a civilization that has never walked the real Earth. The game features more than 60 historical cultures as you lead your people from the ancient to the modern age, from the origins of Neolithic tribes, early modern era British, and a lot more. You'll be playing the leader of your society as an avatar that you create and customize. You'll also be able to level up your leader via a meta progression system to unlock custom looks you can show off in multiplayer matches of up to eight players. Each battle in Humankind plays out like a mini turn-based board game on top of the actual world map. Unstack your armies and command each of your units and their special abilities. Construct siege weapons or besiege and occupy cities one of the must-play games of this year. Up next is Psychonauts 2. This is a platform adventure game with cinematic style and a lot of customizable psychic powers. The player is known as Raz, a trained acrobat and powerful young psychic, has realized his lifelong dream of joining the international psychic organization known as the Psychonauts. But these psychic spies are in trouble. Their leader hasn't been the same since he was rescued from a kidnapping, and there's a mole in the team. The game serves up danger, excitement, and laughs as players guide Raz on a journey through the minds of friends and foes on a quest to defeat a murderous psychic villain, using Raz's ability to dive into people's brains to battle their inner demons, unlock hidden memories, you get to explore some really unique environments. Raz also has other psychic powers like to blast, burn, and levitate things or even slow down time itself to solve puzzles and battle enemies. Overall, it's a joyful platforming experience. Next, Naraka Blade Point. It's a 60-player action battle royale offering players lots of mobility powered by parkour and grappling hooks. Players also have a vast arsenal of melee and ranged weapons, and a roster of characters with unique abilities. To summarize, 
it's anime-style melee combat based battle royale. Game features vertical map design, diverse character skills, and resurrection system. Every player is equipped with a grappling hook that can be aimed at anyone, anywhere, which enables you to instantly zip through obstacles to pounce on your target. Or you can take a more stealthy approach and hide in the darkness and wait a bit. Ready your hook and surprise your targets with lethal, long-range takedowns. But also sometimes escaping from battles in a flash with well-aimed grappling hook maneuvers is everything to save your life. Yeah, you can do many things with your grappling hook. Next, Icarus. It's a session-based PvE survival game for up to eight co-op players or solo. You explore a 64 square kilometer alien wilderness in the aftermath of terraforming gone wrong. Your goal is to survive long enough to mine exotic matter, then return to orbit to craft new items. You need to meet your deadlines or be left behind forever on Wild Planet. Those that survive return to orbit as seasoned veterans, converting their materials into advanced technology and taking on even more challenging drops. On the surface, you confront and conquer a brutal player vs environment world which is determined to wear you down with constant challenges. There are three skill trees to master, such as planetary tech, player talents, and orbital workshop. Preparation and planning are everything, whether it's to find a source of oxygen, stock your next meal, or stock supplies for a long journey into the wilderness. Up next, Starmancer. It's a strategy simulation game that offers gameplay with consequences. A living sandbox environment, crafting, and managing the daily lives of colonists. You can obey protocol or go rogue as you take on the role of AI in Starmancer. There is a lot of managing in Starmancer. You build spaceports, secret laboratories, and incubators for mystery eggs. You also need to defend against starvation, sabotage, and space zombies. You manage all humans who have needs, like hunger and thirst, so you build farms and grow crops for food, place heaters to prevent hypothermia, construct med bays, and assign doctors to treat wounds, cure diseases, and replace limbs. Also, you can make a colonist eat wheat again and again to make them go crazy. There will be a lot of deaths too, but don't worry, you can always grow more humans. You can also customize your station with walling, floors, furniture, and tons of weird decorations and objects. You can even repaint objects to achieve your space station interior design dreams. And next, Hoa. It's a beautiful, casual puzzle platforming game that features impressive hand-painted art, lovely music, and a relaxing atmosphere. You experience the magic of nature as you play the main character, Hoa, on her journey through wild environments, back to where it all began. The world is very beautiful, hand-painted art-style sceneries of nature. The soundtrack is original and exceptional for this game, along with good storytelling bringing its world to life with a touch of nostalgia. Creatures are taken from nature itself, mostly insects and small animals, but they are represented in very lovely ways. Do keep an eye out for magical creatures along the way which might even tell you a little story. Gameplay is to navigate with a keen eye and solve exploration-based puzzles relax to the rhythms of subtle storytelling while being intrigued by endless little wonders. And up next, Book of Travels. It's a social role-playing experience that sets you adrift in a fairy tale world. You create a character and immerse yourself in the lands of Braided Shore. Set your own goals and adventure alone or together with travelers that you meet on the road in this TMORPG, which means tiny multiplayer online RPG. The game features roleplay without the restraints of linear missions and plotlines. There is no real beginning or end. Braided Shore is a vast and intricate world, but meetings with other players is what makes it something special. You can choose to collaborate together or survive alone. Your travels will present you with randomly occurring events, making your story unique, and each session different from the last. Characters can be powered up with 300 plus abilities and skills that can open up different experiences of the game. You gain experience by exploring, gathering, trading, and battles, but you will learn more in defeat than in victory. And last, King's Bounty 2. It's the long-awaited sequel to the King's Bounty video games franchise, one of the greatest representatives of turn-based RPG genre. In this open fantasy world in Tara, the kingdom's in disarray, 
counties demanding independence, bandits prowling, all the nations have denied the king's authority over them. New accidental heroes emerge as a last hope. You play as one of the three main heroes, rescuing and building your personal army in a journey of leadership, survival, and sacrifice. Every decision you make has profound consequences on overall story of the game. Each army squad has its own set of skills and visual appearance. Build armies of different creatures who will fight with you throughout the majority of your adventure. Players will also encounter diverse terrain types, directly impacting battlefield tactics. Making sure every battle is fun in its own way. And that completes our best PC games list for this month. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to us to see more videos like this in the future. See you next time.